so you already guessed what I'm going to talk about and um, my opinion of that video was I really do think it was dumb um, and uh, the more I think about it the more upset and angry I got because majority of the dudes that were in that video they were actually being nice and complimenting on how beautiful she looked um, and uh, also, at the end of the video, they say 100 plus incidents of street harassment. If they really had that much, why did they pick, like, majority of the clips to be of guys saying, how you doing, have a good day, um, you know, you look beautiful. And um, I also think that's kind of messed up for guys to have to watch what they say. You know, just saying hi, they get in trouble for that. Um, also, I kind of accidentally stepped into the men's world. Um, one time, uh, my husband and I were watching a live feed on the uh, Kamikaze in LA. Um, we were using a Crunchyroll account, my husband's Crunchyroll account, and, but I was doing the chatting. And uh, my husband had told me to not get him banned, which my ignorant butt was confused because I was typing really nice things about the female cosplayers that were walking by the screen. Uh, like, you know, you look pretty, you're adorable, uh, smiley face. And not long after, I did get a ban warning. And that was just because they thought I was a dude online saying those things, which is still messed up because I was not harassing them by any means, nor did I have any ulterior motives. But because they thought I was a dude, it um, sort of came off as being really creepy. So, um, yeah, that's another thing uh, that got me really pissed off about that video. Another thing I got pissed off about the video is that, um, well, she was on the news and interviews and everything like that. And the guys who were being actually sweet to her um, were being demonized, sort of. Like, they were viewed as, like, um, what do you call those things? Or they were accused of sexual harassment, sort of. And she did not feel any pity or guilt for posting that video and showing them as, like, those type of people even though they're not and um yeah that's you know blurring their face doesn't make it any you know messed up <laughs> uh, let's see another thing i'm pissed off about was because they also asked for donation which is really really dumb anyone who donates to this cause is really really dumb because they did not in any of those two minutes um ex how they're going to solve the problem with the money people who will be donating to them and I don't really see how money would solve the problem it's and um, I'm also doubtful and a lot of things that caused me to doubt their intention was one the girl they just so happened to pick is an actress so yeah mm. that pretty much her um, bio and the street area they happened to be on was not a very nice neighborhood and um, if you want more info on the other sides of catcalling then just search up on YouTube picking up girls with a Lamborghini or Ferrari um, you'll get a different perspective that way and uh, you know Poor versus getting hit on by a poor dude versus getting hit on by a dude who has a nice car. So yeah, um, there's a lot more that I hate about this video. Um, but uh, man, I wanted to stay under five minutes. <laughs> but there's so much more I want to talk about. Um, but harassment does happen. So, but that video was just really dumb and. I feel sorry for all the mail that is being generalized 
and um, uh, women are just as evil and maybe a little more yeah a little bit more crazier than male um, stories like screwing the boss to get a raise and then if he doesn't she doesn't get the raise then she will probably you know file for rape or something like that that has happened but that never gets any media attention we don't really see that in the news that much it'll show up but then it'll be gone the next day um other one about let's see um tag chasers they're basically women who would um go after men in uniform and marry them just for the benefits and then divorce them to get half you know they don't even care they have a kid with the dude you know divorce them get half of all his stuff and then he has to end up paying for the divorce because he's the only one who works and he has to pay for child support and then that's just really yeah so that's i'm, I'm just gonna sh talk about the ugly side of women so that uh, i'm just rambling now but <laughs> yeah let's see what else one of us oh yeah um there's also a lot of things I would rather protest than, you know, the street harassment, like the um, girls' night. You know, not a couple, like not that far ago, it was like no women's or pets allowed. Now there's no men allowed. And then also there's places you find where taxi, women's only taxi service or you know the back of the train whatever you call it I don't want to take the train <laughs> um that's just for women during certain times of day there's parking for just women I would sign a petition to get rid of those so um yeah I'm, I'm gonna talk until 10 for 10 minutes now because I like to keep it 5 10 15 <laughs> So let's see what else I want to talk about. So anyway, I'm just saying this on the top of my head. But um, sorry, talked about how much I hate that video. Um, the dude that was silently walking, of course, was annoying as... I really don't want to say any bad words. <laughs> but, um, okay, I'm going to talk about incidents that happened with me. Um, once was in waiting for the trolley, a guy woke up to me and he was hitting with me and I said that I that I have a boyfriend and he said um, I don't see a ring on your finger that was annoying but I just walked away from that and that pretty much ended it um, so oh uh, the boyfriend I was talking about is now my husband um, let's see uh, there was this one time again it was in the trolley uh, I think the dude was an ex this expos oh my god I can't pronounce the word exposition expo one of those dudes and chicks who likes to expose themselves in public to get aroused god I can't I can't pronounce it I know the word I just can't pronounce it um but yeah he asked if he can in front of me um but yeah I basically just said if you do that I'm just gonna walk away uh that was weird um but yeah one of my friends also had that experience um with a chick my friend's a dude uh it was on the bus and she asked if she can do herself in front of him that's, that's so yeah that's both ways uh yeah other times um you know people say hello how are you doing and i always usually reply i'm actually a pretty shy person so um mostly give them a nod or i try to smile an awkward smile but they've always been genuine with their you know have a good day and then they just go on their merry way and i just go the other way um but yeah so i hate that video i'm sorry that um, women like to demonize men so much and make themselves view um, look like the victims and men as the aggressors.
Bye. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna take so long because I'm pressing the pause button.